Former President Trump headlined the Conservative Political Action Conference, or CPAC, over the weekend. Mr. Trump was met with overwhelming support from attendees there. In fact, he easily won a straw poll of their preferred 2024 candidate. He had won the last two years as well. More than 69% of the vote is what he got. Coming in second, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, 24%. During the former president's speech Saturday, uh, he held on to claims of election fraud while teasing his future plans. But I ran twice, I won twice, and did much better the second time than I did the first, getting millions and millions of more votes than in 2016. And now we may have to do it again. We may have to do it again. For more now, let's bring in CBS News political director Finn Gomez. Uh, Finn, I, I, you know, it's no surprise he won that straw poll. He's won it the last two years. Uh, he is the biggest figure in the party. Uh, no question about it. Uh, do you think he's mm -hmm. serious? Are the signs suggesting he's really serious about running for president again? Uh, absolutely. I think he is seriously considering running for president again. Uh, and as you saw in the straw poll, it just it shows that he still has significant influence on the Republican Party. Also, as you saw in evidence uh, in the primaries across uh, this mid midterm cycle, uh, several of his endorsements have gone on to win in the primaries. Uh, in that in that poll that you mentioned, that straw poll that you mentioned, uh, uh, Governor DeSantis, the, the the governor of Florida, uh, was the closest with 24 percent. So if for what whatever reason he does not decide to run, the Santos would be someone that the party would look to. But will he run? Uh, the people that I've spoken to who are closest to, who are close to Trump, tell me that it's not a matter of if, but when, if he mm. jumps in before or after the midterms. So I think he still has a very significant hold on the Republican Party. And yes, he is still, he's still very much considering uh, and, uh, a jump uh, into the 2024 presidential pool. Well, Finn, speaking of that hold on the Republican Party, the former president is also hoping to influence the Wisconsin primaries sure. tomorrow. He's backing businessman Tim Michaels. So mm -hmm. if voters in this key swing state side with the Trump endorsed candidate, how do you think that will impact the national party message? Uh, you're right, Tanya. Voters go to the polls in four states tomorrow, including Wisconsin, which is a battleground a state. Uh, and then there, there's another proxy battle between Trump and his former vice president, Mike Pence, that could have 2024 implications. As you mentioned, Trump has backed Michaels, and Pence has backed former Lieutenant Governor Rebecca Clayfish in that GOP primary, which is supposed to be close. Um, uh, this will be the third time that Trump and Pence have split on gubernatorial primaries this season, uh, including in Georgia, as well as in Arizona, where Kerry Lake just one, but Clayfish and uh, and Michaels are interesting. So if he, if if Trump, if if the Trump back candidate uh, Michaels wins tomorrow, I think it further shows how strong and how influential he still. Uh, has that hold that he still has on the Republican Party. I do want to cite that there was a poll last month uh, that was a little more scientific and a better sample than that straw poll, which shows that uh, in the New York Times Siena College poll, 49 percent of those re registered Republicans who were polled in that survey said that they would support Trump. However, that means that over 50 percent of those registered Republicans said they'd probably vote for someone else, including DeSantis, who got 24 percent in that poll. So, listen, does he still have a, still have a significant hold on the Republican Party, yes, but there are others as well who are looking to vie around him uh, as the presidential 2024 race continues. Uh, and, 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 and we're still in the 2022 midterm cycle, uh, but it's, you know, it's August, but we are talking about 2024. Yeah, absolutely. Finn Gomez, thank you so much for breaking it down for us and making some sense of that. We appreciate it. Thanks, thank guys. Appreciate it.